It's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a hair and a makeup tutorial for you guys. You guys have been requesting me to do a yellow hair for quite some time now. So here it is. If you want to see how I got this entire look, then please keep on watching. All right, let's get started. I'm using 613 hair and I made my wig off camera. I do have very, very detailed videos on how I make my wigs. I will link it in the description bar down below. The hair that I'm using, it's from Virgo Hair and it's my first time using their hair. So definitely check out reviews on this hair as well. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what I do to protect my lace so it doesn't get stained. And I'm just applying some Vaseline all over my lace. I've showed you guys this step in other hair videos before. You can also use a got to be free spray. Sometimes I use them together because, you know, sometimes the Vaseline is just not enough or the free spray is just not enough. And I'm just applying it all over the lace and it's just gonna protect it. That way we don't get any stains on the lace because the worst thing to do is get stains on the lace and you can see that stain, especially when you put the wig on, you can see it on your forehead and that is not cute. All right, so moving on to color in this wig, I'm gonna be using the Ion Color Brilliance in the shade Light Intense Brown. All the products I use, I'm gonna list them in the description bar down below as well. So I'm just applying this into my mixing bowl with the Salon Care uh, Number 10 Cream Developer, and I'm using two parts Cream Developer, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all up, and then I'm gonna go in with my fishtail comb. So that's a comb right there, and I'm just gonna apply this at the roots. So we're gonna add some roots I want the roots to look somewhat natural we're going for yellow hair and I just don't want to have yellow hair and yellow roots because I just feel like it would look I don't think it would look very flattering on my skin tone the roots being yellow so I was just like I'm definitely gonna go for the darker roots anyways I'm gonna go ahead and part the hair into little sections and go in with my comb and apply that to the roots and I'm also using some saran wrap just to separate it so the darker shade of dye does not touch the blonde hair now you can leave this on for about 25 minutes like the instruction says but I actually left it on for about 12 minutes that way the roots didn't get too dark I'm really happy with how it turned out this is the exact shade I wanted so I washed out the dye off camera I didn't use any shampoo and conditioner now we're gonna move on to the fun part we're gonna be using the Arctic Fox cosmic sunshine yellow dye I've been dying to use this okay you guys I bought like three bottles of this at Sally's like months ago but even though I've been dying to use it I've been terrified to do yellow hair because I just didn't think it would look good on me I wasn't sure about it um, anyways I end up using a bottle and a half. You don't need three bottles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the dye all over the hair and I'm gonna go in with the brush, go in with my finger and just massage it all in just to make sure that, you know, all the hair is getting dye distributed all over. And these colors, they work really good on pre-lightened hair. So that's why I always use like the 613 hair because it's already light so it takes the color really, really well. And I'm gonna let this sit in the hair for about 30 minutes okay so after letting it sit for about 30 minutes we're gonna go ahead and wash that out we are in my laundry room right now that's why the quality of the video is looking different I'm using my vlog camera not that I ever vlog but this is my other camera and I'm gonna use some shampoo now I'm using the shampoo on the lace to get the Vaseline out a lot of you guys always ask me how I get the Vaseline out and that's what I do I just add some shampoo to the lace and wash it out and this is the end result she's looking cute now I did stain her just a little bit by the root but that's okay because it's not gonna be super noticeable it's brown so it won't look you know that bad but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and blow her out with my blow dryer and then we're gonna go ahead and style her so I'm just gonna straighten her and then style her later on I keep saying her like she's a whole person okay so as for the frontal it's a pre-plucked frontal so I had to do a little bit of tweezing on it not too much but I already customized it off camera and I'm just going in with some hair mousse just to flatten it so it doesn't look bulky on my head now I apply my wig off camera again I have very detailed videos on how I apply my wig and now we're gonna go ahead and style her 
All right, so I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some layers. So as you can see, I'm cutting some layers into that hair and it's just gonna look really nice when I curl it up. Hi Simba, my cat is always in the mix. Like he just wants to be involved in everything. And yeah, so I'm just adding a couple more layers in the front and then I'm gonna go in with my Bayless flat iron I love this flat iron so much because it's so good for curling hair and this hair actually curls so good you guys like it takes the curls really good and I didn't even use any hairspray and I actually went to bed with my wig and I woke up the next morning and my hair was still curl I mean it wasn't like super tight curl or anything but it looked you know very voluminous and it had some body to it so yeah I'm just curling it away from my face and this is pretty much the completed hair look when it comes to the curling and I was feeling it you can wear it straight whatever you prefer I wanted to do it curly because I just thought it would look really good if I curl it up alright so my hair is all done now we are gonna move on to makeup I'm gonna beat my face for you guys today so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some moisturizer this is the drunk elephant moisturizer I just started using this recently and I am obsessed you guys obsessed it's absolutely amazing and only thing is that it's a little pricey like a little too pricey but I needed a good moisturizer and I really really love this one so I'm sticking with it and I'm gonna go in with the milk hydro primer and this is also another product that I just started using but let me tell you this is probably the best primer I've ever used and I'm not really big on primers you guys I'm not I just don't care for them but this one my makeup literally stay it looks so good and it doesn't budge at all like I'm feeling this I'm gonna be wearing this on my wedding day all right so now that I applied my moisturizing primer I'm gonna move on to brows I'm gonna take my favorite brow pencil my ride or die my precisely brow pencil from benefits cosmetics and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows and I just fill in the bottom and then I'm gonna go in with some concealer this is the Too Faced concealer and I'm just gonna go ahead and carve out my brows apply the concealer all over the eyelid and this is just gonna act as a base for my eyeshadow then I'm gonna go in with some translucent powder and just set and lock her into place all right, so we're gonna move on to eyeshadow, and I'm gonna take this palette that I use so much. <laughs> this is the Desi X Katie Dose of Color Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm just gonna grab that light brown shade, and I'm gonna pop that into my crease as my transition shade with this big fluffy blending brush from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Collection. Next, I'm taking Colored Rain Safari Rain Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm gonna grab this orange shade. This is in the shade Clay, and I'm using another Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes I don't know the number and I'm gonna pop that into the crease and I'm also gonna go back in with that fluffy blending brush because that color was really really pigmented so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out then I'm gonna take this dark brown eyeshadow from that same palette I believe it's called you know what I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it because I can't even pronounce it but I'm gonna pop that into the crease make it look a little bit more defined I'm a simple bitch okay I don't want anything too dramatic on my eyes except for my eyeliner all right so I'm gonna go back into the Desi X Katie eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take the lightest shade from that palette and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that all over the eyelid alright guys so now we're gonna go ahead and do our wing liner do you see my face I'm literally like scared whenever I'm doing my liner on camera I literally be holding my breath okay because I'm so worried I'm gonna screw this up <laughs> yeah liner I love wearing liner but it's never fun to do anyway so I start off with a very small wing and then I go thicker at the outer corner as you can see and to get my liner sharp and clean I go in with some concealer and just clean up the sides all right so now I'm gonna take some mascara and add it to my non-existent lashes because I don't have any but we're gonna add some false lashes as well so I'm gonna be using the Lily lashes in Miami I love these ones and the glue that I'm using is the duo adhesive all right so I'm ready to beat my face and I'm gonna do some color correcting I'm using a orange concealer and the nails I can't do this with the nails so I'm gonna grab a brush and blend that out now this step is optional you don't have to do this if you don't need to color correct do you see my dark circles I need to color correct so that's why I have to do this step all right so I'm gonna move on to conceal now so I'm gonna use the Too Faced concealer in the shade warm sand this is not to highlight this is just to conceal to cover my dark circles so I can't see her peeping through my foundation and I'm gonna be using a damp beauty blender sponge to apply moving on to foundation I'm gonna use the foundation from Lancome you guys I just started using this recently and your girl is obsessed with it I freaking love it the finish it just looks so flawless especially in pictures with flash photography I'm so here for this foundation so I'm just gonna apply this all over my face using my damp beauty blender sponge 
Moving on to highlight, I'm using the Too Faced Concealer in Warm Sand and Sand. And I actually mix these two together. Reason being, one's too dark, one's too light. But I put them together and it's like the perfect color to highlight with. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes, down my nose, and the center of my forehead, you guys. I really love this concealer because it does not crease on me. I can add powder to it without it looking cakey and creasy under my eyes. I just absolutely love it. Now we're going to move on to contour. I'm going to use some cream product. This is from Makeup Forever. I actually don't even know the name of this product, but I've had it for quite some time now. And I'm going to apply this at the hollows of my cheek and along my forehead using the Real Techniques brush. Next, I'll be using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder in the shade Blondie. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this under my eyes to set and lock that concealer into place because, honey, she's not moving. And I'm also going to put some along my forehead and just anywhere where I get oily, which is like my nose, the T-zone area. Moving on to bronzer, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Beige and Gel Bronzer. Guys, I'm obsessed with this bronzer. You guys, if you've been following me for a long time, you know I use the same bronzer bronzer all the time so it's hard for me to switch over and I think I switched over this is my new ride or die so I'm just gonna apply this in the hollows of my cheeks along my forehead bronze that skin up and give myself some contour cheeks so I'm gonna go in with that big powder just to snatch my cheekbones and I'm also gonna apply that at the sides of my nose to contour my nose as well all right, so I'm going to let that powder do its thing, and I'm going to bake my face, and I'm going to move on to filling in my brows. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows using the same Benefits pencil, and I'm going to go ahead and reapply my beauty mark. I have a beauty mark right there, but the foundation always covers it up, so I'm going to bring it back out. All right, so I'm all done baking the face. I'm going to go ahead and take my Real Techniques buffing brush, and I'm going to go ahead and dust away all that excess powder because she is no longer needed. Then I'm going to take MAC Fix Plus Spray and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And this is not a setting spray. This is just to give my skin a non-powdery, dusty, cakey look. And then we're going to go back into the eyeshadow palette, the Color Drain eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to place the darkest shade along my bottom lash line. So this eyeshadow look, it's a very matte look, but I want to add some shimmer. So I'm just going to go ahead and wet my brush. And I'm going to take the eyeshadow liners and I'm just going to pop that right at the inner corner of the eyes. These shimmer eyeshadow from Colored Rain are super, super pigmented. I really, really love them. And then I'm going to add some mascara to the bottom lashes that I barely have. And now for blush, I'm going to use my Ride or Die blush. I've used this in every single video. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Radiant Blush Kit. Now we're going to move on to highlight. I'm going to take MAC Oh Darling and I'm going to wet that brush. So this brush is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this at the highest point of my cheekbone. And I'm going to pop a little bit of that highlight, well, a lot of that highlight on my nose. So my nose can look like a light bulb. And for my lips, I'm going to take the MAC Cork Lip Pencil and I'm just going to go ahead and align my lips. And then for a lip gloss, I'm using Dose of Color Barely There Lip Gloss. I'm not sure if they still have this available. I think I've had this for quite some time now. And I love that bronzer so much. I'm going to go back in and apply even more bronzer. And then I'm going to go ahead and align my waterline with some black eye pencil just to intensify my eyes just a little bit. So yeah, this is pretty much the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoy this hair and makeup tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more of these and I'll definitely do it for you. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching.